actually moved to Israel when I was eight years old. I remember hearing the kids saying shakshuka this, shakshuka that, but I grew up loving it. And it's just one of those dishes that every mom was making for her kids. We make ours at Jack's Wife Frida in green tomatillos. No rules on how you eat it? Yeah, I like to eat it just with the challah. I grew up in Matzpol Soup in Frida's house and there'll be a huge, huge pot of chicken soup and next to it was a matzo ball, a knedla. And if you've never seen it, it's probably one of the most unusual looking soups you'll see. You're going to get this ball the size of a tennis ball. So Frida's belief is was a big ball, golden soup, a pinch of salt and a dash of dill and hopefully come back for seconds. So these are our peri-peri chicken wings and they are the first thing we ate together when we worked a restaurant together and we had staff meal at the end of the night. I pulled a piece, Maya pulled a piece, then we're ripping apart the chicken wings, making a mess of our hands, wiping our faces. Uh, peri-peri is a spice that originated in Portugal, landed up in Mozambique and trickled down into South Africa and that's how we got the season and the spice in a lot of our dishes. After we got married in Israel, we went on, it was like a late honeymoon in Paris, and we fell in love with Croque Madame. We knew that we had to figure out how to make that French version without pork, so we decided to use the duck prosciutto. And this is decadent, it's rich, it's filling, and it takes us back to sitting in Paris and in a cafe and kind of just enjoying the company of their cafe life, of nothing so immediate, of having taken time and enjoying a nice filling dish. We've been married 12 years and we have two little boys and believe it or not they're very picky eaters but schnitzel is one of their favorite dishes. As a little girl I made schnitzel with my mom and my boys make schnitzel with me. I have bonding time when we slice the chicken cutlets, dip it in the breadcrumbs, make a big mess but they love it. We eat it like two, three times a week. And the whole idea of schnitzel, it just represents home. When we don't know what to say or do in life, we kind of default to our childhood. All the things you put on the menu, they're inside of our heart, they're part of our life. The fact that they land up on the table every day is definitely a little bit of that dream come true.